Yeah, I have to ask. Are you gonna ask the question? Which one you want me to ask? Am I gonna go pro? Yeah, that's number four <laughs> on the list. Yes. Save you another dollar. Okay, <laughs> that's right. Save it. There you go. Hey, tell me this: Are you thinking about renting an apartment in Fort Worth or anything? I mean, you've been in. I don't know. I don't know if you guys are gonna have me back again. But, you know, get tired of me. I, th I think we'll make uh, room for you. How about that? The uh, how's this year been for you? I mean, you know, uh, obviously you're back here with us again. There was a lot of pressure on you. Uh, how's it been? It's been an incredible learning experience, to be completely honest. Um, yeah, I got off to a great start, at least for this college season, uh, winning here at Colonial, which is pretty special. Uh, very cool in that. Um, and then, quite honestly, I hadn't played my best golf. I um, you know, was trying to run some equipment. I was playing with what, you know, it, there, there's pressure. Like, it's something that you just have to acknowledge and learn to deal with. And that's been quite the learning curve for me. But um, I, like I said, there's... There's earning years and there's learning years, and this has definitely been a learning year, and um, it's been fantastic, and I think I'm a way better player for it. You think about where you stand now as far as the history of Stanford golf is concerned, and it's Patrick Rogers, Tiger Woods, you. I mean, that's pretty good company, isn't it? It is. Uh, you know, Tiger won in two, 11 times in two years, Patrick won 11 times in three years, and I'm, uh, I've got one chance left in my fourth, but, you know, when I, when I signed up with Coach Ray and he took a chance on a, a scrawny 17-year-old hockey player, I, I wanted one thing uh, in my college experience, and that was to be the, the best sign he ever had, uh, to be the best net positive for the team. And my goal freshman year, I wanted to qualify for two events, and that would have been a fantastic year for me. And um, you know, I, I wanted to be the best teammate. I wanted to be, I'm going to be the hardest worker. I'm going to have a great attitude, and that's how I was going to contribute to the Stanford Golf Legacy. And, Coach says Stanford golf is like a slow moving train. You get on for four years and then you get off and you have that time to leave your mark. And, you know, thinking back on guys like Tiger and Patrick and Noda and Casey and Coach and all those guys that have, and Tom Watson and guys that have left their mark on Stanford golf and just to be in the same sentence with them really affirms everything that I started out wanting to do. It, it means a ton to me. Yeah, it, and as well it should. You mentioned hockey uh, because you play hockey. How did it, we talked about this a little bit last year. How did, how did hockey make you better as a golfer? I, well, I don't think hockey made me better. I think hockey allowed me to get better. Um, I played competitive ice hockey seven months out of the year through my senior year of high school. I absolutely loved it. Played for the San Jose Junior Sharks, and um, my three younger brothers were all better hockey players than I was. But um, I, I loved it, and uh, you know, it, it was a great cross-training. You know, I would binge golf uh, 36 a day at least um, over Christmas and Thanksgiving and spring break and um, I'd get to the, the summer season I'd be hitting it 15 yards further and 20 degrees further offline but it was great and you know I discovered my putting stroke just in time for the next year's hockey tryouts but I, I absolutely loved it and I think that was a huge reason that I was able to make the, the gains in my game that I did in my first two years. That binge golf you mentioned that happened with the whole family didn't it? Yeah, everyone? Oh yeah, the, the, my brothers are the reason I practice so hard. Um, I think my mom is where I get my golf swing. She's a 13 handicap, never practices, hits a 250 on a string. It's unbelievable. Um, and my, you know, my dad, he taught me how to love a game of golf. And uh, I, we played 72 holes in a day together. And um, you know, I, I think our family spent more time together on the golf course than off, which is saying a lot. Do you, uh, there, there's a story that you ask yourself five questions after every round, after after every competitive round, I'm assuming. What, what are those and what are you trying to do? So how did the day go? I write down every shot I hit because that's really important to me to remember. And uh, you know, one of the things, quick aside, when Tiger Woods came and visited campus um, you know, two years ago, he was able to tell us any shot he had ever hit. And he said, Tiger, hit that low stinger you hit at number four at Olympic and he hit it. And that, that kind of recall is really impressive. So I write down every shot. Say, how did today go? What did I do well? What did I do poorly? Why did things go well or poorly? And what can I do better to fix it? And then I ask myself, what did I learn today? And I think that understanding of what makes me play well has allowed me to compete at a high level, even if my swing isn't as great. I, I just learned a lot about what I need to do to try and play good golf. And, and you joked earlier when he sat down, he joked about whether or not you were turning pro, because that's a question you get all the time. And some of it is because your, your dad, obviously, if folks don't know, uh, Coke was one of the co-founders of uh, Sun Systems. Uh, and uh, there's some talk that you may just go to the business world. And, and, or that was talk early on, that you may forego a professional golf career 
and go into business because that's something you have talked about before, right? Yeah, if you had asked me when I was five what I wanted to be when I grew up, I would have said uh, I want to be a business person. If you'd asked me when I was 15, I would have said I want to be a Stanford golfer. And, and I had never thought that I would have the opportunity or the ability to play professional golf, and that's a, a recent development in my life. But um, yeah, I, you know, I, with, with the McCormack medal, which is, is really cool, I've, I'm now staying amateur this summer, which means I get to play the US Open and the British Open, which would be fantastic. Um, I, and then a goal for me is to make the Walker Cup team at the end of the year and represent my country again. So that's, that's what I want to do. And you know, I think before the Walker Cup, my decision will be pretty clear, but I, I'm so lucky to have gone to a place like Stanford where I can get a world-class education and, and play at the highest level. And, play for Coach Ray and, uh, and be a part of that. It's just been great. So your mindset coming into tonight, third time's a charm? That's what they say. They say. <laughs> <laughs> Matter of <laughs> the ladies and gentlemen.